Hello, my name is Omar Forbes and I'm a travel photographer and in this video I'll be talking about why I bought an inferior camera which is the Ricoh GR3X HDF and before we get started remember to subscribe, like and comment as it will help push out this video so yeah let's get started so first just look at this thing I mean it's tiny it is so tiny it literally weighs the same as my phone does and right here I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max this weighs the same as the iPhone 15 Pro Max this is crazy so it weighs about 250 grams so it's very light it's very compact it's, it's pocketable it's so tiny and yeah I have this lens cap on but it's so tiny like you can carry this everywhere so continuing on from that reason it is a small and compact camera but it is very powerful because this camera has an APS-C size sensor I'll say that again APS-C size sensor in this tiny form factor I mean look at it it is it's tiny it is tiny this this can fit in a lot of places like it's amazing but yeah so it has a 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor and yeah it's great and third reason is the recipes so this camera comes in with built-in uh, recipes so like positive film negative film uh, vivid and more and like some very very good black and white modes as well I really like the hard monotone it is so good it is so good I put out some pictures now that I've taken with this camera so yeah I've had this camera for about a month now yeah just coming up on a month I put my order in for this camera about two months ago so I was very lucky that I didn't have to wait too long to get this camera but yeah very very I, lo I love this camera it is like it's ignited my love for photography again it literally feels like when I first started photography going out every day just to take photos for no reason other than to take photos another reason is I got the HDF version HDF version so you can see here here it says HDF that stands for high diffusion filter in other terms mist filter so this tiny camera which already has an APS-C size sensor also has a mist filter which is amazing it looms the highlights it's just it's so good I've got some pictures up now where you can really see the mist coming into play but yeah it's an amazing camera another reason why I got this is because of the focal length now the focal length of this one this is the GR3X so it is the 40 millimeter equivalent version so it's in APC terms it's 26 millimeters around that so yeah it's 40 millimeters so quite close to 35 millimeters and also quite close to 50 millimeters as well so it's very very versatile you can use it for portraits streets it even has a macro mode on it as well and 40 millimeters is much better for macro mode than the other version of this which is the GR3 which has a 28 millimeter lens so yeah it has a macro mode which is quite cool so yeah that is basically all of the reasons why I bought this camera which is inferior to the camera I'm recording on now the a7 IV let's talk about the bats so of course with it being so tiny it comes with really really small batteries let me in fact show you the very small batteries these are tiny these are so tiny like look at these these batteries are so small so it is 1350 milliamp hours for reference that is roughly the same size as the batteries that were that are used in the e7 II and everyone knows those don't last long at all so yeah I mean you can't really complain I mean just look how tiny it is but yeah small cameras small camera small battery not good battery life so yeah can't complain also another con is no viewfinder or EVF as you can see it's literally just a black screen but yeah that being said it is a very very bright screen if I turn it on if I turn it on if I turn it on and put it on its lightest setting or brightest setting you can see that okay there's a bit of glare but 
I really have no difficulties in seeing this screen. Like the sun is literally right over overhead and it's, it's very hot today. Let me, let me, let me say it. it's 30 degrees today in, the, in London. It is hot, but the weather is nice, man. The weather is great. So yeah, the sun is literally beaming down on this camera screen and I can see it perfectly. But yeah. So no refund or EV app. So that is a bit, so that is a con of the camera. Now, another con of the Ricoh GR3 is it heats up quite a, quite quickly. And so, especially when you're shooting JPEGs with the recipes. So the camera has to do like a lot of internal pro processing. So that of course warms up the processor quick, more quickly than if you're just shooting raw images. So it warms up quite a bit and you can feel it on the handle. So on the handle here, this is where the battery is. So you can feel it when it's heating up, but yeah. But you can't really complain about it as well because it is a small camera that has an APC size sensor. So yeah, you would, you should expect it to get warm because there's not a lot of like ways for heat to get out. So yeah, it does get quite warm. And now another con is that the autofocus is not as good as sim other similarly priced cameras. So this camera sits at 1,100 at retail price. This camera literally came out like three, four months ago. So it's very, very new. But the normal GR3 and GR3X are, are 950 for the GR3 and 1,000 for the GR3, I think. Don't quote me, but yeah. So it is very, very expensive. For that price, you can buy a used A7 III, a used A6400. And yeah, you could buy a used A6400 plus a very good lens like a Sigma 18 to 50 and the autofocus on that would be like very very good like up to par with the latest cameras of today but yeah and now the last pro is no weather sealant now no weather sealant is it a big deal kind of yes because this camera is used for street photography mainly and you know street photography is all about candid moments so of course it rains i mean especially in the in london it rains a lot it rains a lot it rains a lot so yeah no ever ceiling is a bit of a bummer but once again it is so tiny that can you really complain that it has no weather ceiling like they had to make some sacrifices somewhere and battery life battery life yeah battery life and weather ceiling has to be some of them Actually, no, they are some of them, but yeah. So I can't really complain because I don't shoot in the rain too much. I'm more of a daytime shooter, as you guys might notice from my content and my Instagram and whatnot, but yeah. So that is the overall reasons to why I bought the Ricoh GR3 X HDF. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the next one.